All right, everyone, welcome to the adventure vlog series. I did a couple of these during my trip across Canada this summer. Oh my God, I'm out of breath already. Um, but I asked my Instagram and, you know, it was 100% yes. So that was enough motivation to get me out. It's great because I get to create content and go out on these sweet adventures and get active. And I also get to share what these experiences are like. And hopefully that inspires you to take a trip out here. So today we're doing Miss Mountain Trail. It's raining on and off, so I don't know if I'm gonna do the peak all the way to the top, but there's a natural hot spring. Um, apparently it's more warm than hot than anything, but it's pretty much Instagram famous now. If you type in Miss Mountain, you'll see all the photos. Um, I really want a photo there and the sunsets have been crazy lately. It's November 4th, I think, 2020. Um, and I live in Canmore, so it's about just over an hour drive. Not a big deal. But I thought it'd be a cool hike to do on my own. Um, I really enjoy just getting out in nature and doing it myself. It's fun with friends, but every once in a while you want to do it yourself. And this one, apparently it's not too tough to get to the springs. And there's only enough room really for one or two people. I guess a good date spot. But yeah, and then I'm gonna try to, hopefully there's a great sunset. I get an epic photo and I, I get back to the road before, uh, before it's pitch black. I brought my extra layers and got my camel back with about three liters of water. So it's always important to be over prepared because weather conditions can change on a dime. But yeah, let's do this. It's already way too hot, so I took my coat off already. It's a lot steeper than I thought. It's basically all uphill. But it's gonna be a good workout. Yeah, straight up. Whew. Snowies, I actually got my crampons. So if I start slipping, Probably throws those on. Only use them once and they do make a huge difference. So it's nice someone's already been through here. It's gone a little flat, but apparently in the winter it gets pretty difficult to find the trail. Um, I mentioned this in my Jasper vlog, but Maps.me is a great offline GPS you can use and it'll show you exactly where the trail is and where you are, even when you turn. And then my destination right there so if you do go hiking or honestly anything any activity download maps.me this isn't a promotion or anything obviously but like i stand by it it actually helped us find our way in jasper during our second day in the backcountry so you know easy way and if you have a uh, external battery for your phone that way uh, it won't die So pretty sure we're going up there. I'm actually gonna throw the crampons on because it's getting kind of hard to walk. And grippy. These crampons aren't helping so much as I just slip, but yeah, I think we're about halfway. You can see the rain coming. Really hope it holds off. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do YouTube consistently now. If you don't know much about me, I'm a 24 year old freelance filmmaker and photographer. I want to specialize in outdoor wellness. By wellness, I mean a healthy body, healthy mind. Wellness, I want to focus on exercise and, you know, mindfulness. And a lot of people find mindfulness in meditation 
in exercise personally and like, like a lot of people do yoga I personally can't do yoga I can't relax I just can't get in that headspace I went to Honduras in February and got my open water license I honestly that was the only place where I could shut my brain off it was amazing so I'm going back eventually but I grew up in northern Ontario I lived in Wawa and then Sault Ste. Marie and then I went to university in Kingston Ontario did five years there and then coronavirus happened um, I was back home with my parents for basically the whole summer May to July and then I traveled across Canada from July 27th to September 12th. Well, I applied for, I'm not even kidding, probably like 70 jobs because I've made it to the point where I can sustain myself off photography and video, but I moved out to Canmore so that I can focus on that. I can, I can do this literally whenever I want. So, Vamp Domino's gave me an interview and I deliver pizzas for them part time. And then, whenever I'm not working, I'm out here grinding, trying to create content. And a lot of it is like very adventure based. And my whole dream is to basically run Journey Media, my business, um, run a team of people who are passionate about travel, about fitness, wellness, um, adventure and basically team up with brands who believe in the same messages and take them on these adventures and create content for them. That would be the dream. This is a great example of why we need to come prepared. Now this is pretty shitty. Going up snow isn't fun. Oh, you're getting chased by rain. Look how deep this goes. Man. Look at that. Man, that's cool. We're in this shit now. Looks like I need to go that way. The hot springs are down. There we go, no wind. Holy crap. Whoa. See that? I almost fell. You know, this is sketchy. Woo hoo hoo hoo, baby. You gotta be careful because one slip and that could be it. Now I almost slipped a couple times. Uh, crampons, you definitely need them in the winter. If I didn't have these, I'd honestly be fucked. Another thing to be concerned about is it's already 4.30. Sunset's uh, just after five. It's been taking me about an hour so far. I think, uh, you know, it'll be a lot quicker on the way down. I might have to trail run it with all my gear, but that's not a big deal. Got the adrenaline going. Got to hustle here and try to catch that sunset. I honestly don't know if there's gonna be one, but it's looking kind of good right now, I won't lie. Someone's actually having a fire right over there. I'm not sure if that's legal here. But I assume I'll come across them. So I'm pretty sure they saw me come in and put their fire out. There's a tent right there. And I see the hot springs there, so I'm gonna check it out. Shh. 
should probably let him know I'm here. You guys in there? I'm just letting you know I'm here and I'm gonna be in the hot spring for a little bit. Oh, you're all good. We're just warming up. No worries, buddy. I think it was worth it. That's probably enough for me. I gotta get going before it gets too dark. Um, but yeah, this has been pretty epic. It's starting to snow now. Um, it's gonna be cold as fuck getting back, but I'm gonna try to dry off as fast as possible and uh, get the hell out of here. what they're doing in camp set up a tent um, but yeah totally worth it hope everyone liked the vlog and I've got to hustle back before it's pitch dark but, see you next time Cut it a little too close, maybe.